testing. I spoke with a couple of companies who've been working for years to disinfect vehicles long before the pandemic. Now they say COVID-19 has sparked an awareness, a desire for drivers to ride virus free. Cars have been known to be one of the dirtiest uh, modes of transportation when it comes to sanitization. We all ride in them. Many of us drive them, getting from point A to point B. Pratik Patel, president of Ride Clean, is in the business of, well, helping you keep your ride clean. If you get into a car, what's typically the first things you touch? Probably the steering wheel or the door, you know, the doorknob. And typically a steering wheel is about 40 percent, you know, dirtier than uh, a public restroom which is scary to think about, right? <laughs> a stunning stat, especially given the onset of COVID-19. Patel says parent company Cox Automotive has seen an increase in the desire among drivers to virus-proof their vehicles, whether it's with disinfectant as we know it or with foggers on a commercial scale. Going forward, we truly believe that this is going to be a little bit of the norm. And this is something we've been working on for quite some time, actually. And, and when COVID-19 hit, you know, it was like, oh, my gosh, you know, it's the floodgates have opened in terms of people having awareness. GHSP in Grand Haven uses UVC or ultraviolet technology currently on emergency vehicles. Director of Marketing John Major says an external device coupled with fixtures on the inside of the vehicle emits high and low doses of UVC light to rid the interior of bacteria and viruses. We can actually make adjustments to make it more effective. We can increase dosage times. We can have it sense when it's safe to operate and, and continually be operating throughout the day. Now they say these tools will really come in handy for those who partake in ride sharing, Uber, Lyft, you name it. Now, if you're interested in these tools or tips on keeping your vehicle clean, disinfecting it, keeping it virus free. We'll get that information on our website, WXYZ.com. This morning, I'm live in Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.